Welcome to the next part in my stories here as we go into the dig. Part 4. I think I see the camp up ahead. Okay, you ready? Wait, wait, just hold on a sec. Three months, and you have found nothing. Well, well, well now, wait, wait a minute. We've been... Commander! That must be Lazarevich. This man was caught stealing artifacts from site number five. <laughs> you would betray me for this? No, no, Zoran, I can't explain. No, no need, no need. I am surrounded by traitors and fools! What do you say we really ruin this guy's day? Do it. Run out! Search the perimeter! Go! Alright, it's all yours, kid. I'll cover you from here. <laughs> Some fool left a sniper rifle up here. Careful, Nate. Looks like they left a couple of sentries behind. Okay, kid. It's showtime. Right. Paying us enough of this shit. Hey. Oh, that's right. Okay, steady. Man, this Lazarevich guy isn't screwing around, Sully. You should see all this stuff. He's got files on every expedition to find Shambhala. All the way back to the 1600s. What about Marco Polo's journals? <laughs> Here they are. Just hurry it up, you haven't got much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worthy pilgrim is granted a golden passport to conquer obstacles on his journey to Shambhala. Huh. Is that supposed to mean something? Beats me. Hold on. Here we go. It was with great sorrow that I left my fellow travelers to their fate. A fate decreed by the dreadful cargo we bore from Shambhala. You must have thought that tsunami was some kind of divine retribution. Wait a minute. Damn. Sully, I don't think the Chintamani Stone is here. What? Listen to this. I, I would have sooner endured the wrath of Kublai Khan himself than remove the Chintamani Stone from that sacred shrine. Marco Polo never had the stone. Then what dreadful cargo is he talking about? I don't know. Well, if the stone's not here, what the hell is Lazarovich looking for? Shambhala. Here in Borneo? He's a little wide of the mark, don't you think? He must be trying to pick up Marco Polo's trail back to Shambhala. Why? <laughs> because the stone is still there. <sighs> Chloe, can you talk? Hold on. 
Yeah, I'm here. In all this digging they've done, have they found any bodies, any remains at all? No, now that you mention it, nothing. Why? <laughs> Over 600 people were shipwrecked here, yet there's no bodies. Don't you find that a little odd? So where did they all go? Where would you go if a tsunami hit? To higher ground. Bingo. We head to that mountain. What do you bet we find Marco's pals? Chloe, can you meet up with us? Already on my way. Great. Uh-oh. Nate, you gotta get out of there. You're gonna have to give me a minute, Sully. You don't have a minute. What's this? They're all dead. Oh, the crap! Spread out! Stay down, kid. I got you covered. Nate. Over here. Well, that's convenient. Spread out!
Should be this way. Sully, look at these stones. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh, yeah. Hey. Hello. What do we have here? With any luck, the last resting place of Marco Polo's crew. Shall we check it out? Wow, this place must be thousands of years old. At least. Down this way. Wow. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Ugh, there must be hundreds of bodies down here. Look at their teeth. They're all black. I think they're all that way. They must have taken refuge here during the tsunami. <sighs> There's got to be some sort of clue around here. Oh. Ah! Hey, I think I found something. In here. What? They must have carried their cargo all the way up here after they were shipwrecked. I've seen this before. Sully, give me a light. Oh. Ooh. Wait a minute. This is blood. It's everywhere. Looks like a real massacre. All right, let's follow the blood stains. See if they lead somewhere. Seems to end at this wall. Yeah, that's odd. Moves a little. Sully, help me out. Here we go again with the pushing. I think I hurt myself. The trail leads in here. Man, more bodies. Oh my god. You know, maybe I'm crazy. But it looks like they all killed each other. Come on, Nate. You're just getting spooked. Wow. Look at this. What do we have here? Careful. Just kidding. Nate, you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. Oh. Man, is that an ugly friggin' thing? What is it? Some kind of weapon? No, no, it's a, a purba. It's a ritual object from Tibet. It's used to destroy obstacles. Huh? No, you know, spiritual ones. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, could this be what Marco Polo was talking about? Kid, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> In his journal, he wrote that uh, the worthy seeker would be given a golden passport to conquer obstacles on the journey to Shambhala. 
So, what, this is it? Look, that's all really interesting, but where the hell is it a passport to? Well, maybe this map would help. Let me see that. <laughs> Between Greater India and the province of Tibet lies a field of exquisitely finished temples. Hundreds of gilded spires stretching as far as the eye can see. Hold on, I know this place. It's in Nepal. Yeah, except it's not just a field of temples anymore, it's a city. Well, that could make things a little more challenging. Now, hold on, there's more. In all these many temples, only one conceals the secret path to Shambhala. And that path shall only be revealed to the pilgrim who bears the golden passport. Oh, <laughs> right, nice work, kid. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. See ya. Let's get going. I'm going to go out and make sure the coast is clear. I'll see you in a bit. Get your hands up. You sure know how to pick them. Shut up, Sonny. Should have known it was you. <laughs> and you, Victor goddamn Sullivan. You still dragging this tired old sack of shit around? Easy, Nate. That's pretty ballsy for a guy who spent the last three months behind bars. Better than pissing away three months in the jungle without a clue. Found the ships, though, didn't I? You couldn't find your own ass with both hands. And a map. They came from down there. Whoa. Harry, look at this. Speaking of maps... Between India and Tibet... One temple will reveal a pathway path to Shambhala. Jesus, Flynn, while we're young. Oh, no. Don't be such a bad sport. Take them to Lazarevich. You're gonna wish you'd stayed in prison, mate. Move. Come on, keep moving. <sighs> 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 Are you all right? Yeah, well, it'll make it look more believable. Now I'm going to try and buy you some time. No, Chloe, you have to come with us. No. Just meet me in Nepal. Now run. Let's go. I like her. Yeah, I bet you do. Shit! They've spotted us! Run for it! <laughs> Thanks for the heads up! Will you quit screwing around to get up here? Let's go! Take the run! This way. Oh, damn. Now what do we do? We jump. Oh, hold on there, son bitch. You gotta be out of your mind. We'll break our goddamn necks. Now, if we get caught, Lazarevich will break them for us. I'm getting too old for this bullshit. Oh, come on, now don't you start this again. Listen, I don't have your luck. Guys like me gotta know when to walk away from the table. Sully, we're gonna get out of this, okay? We always do. Yeah. You go meet your girl in Nepal. I'm going somewhere warm. Come on. Hey, you can tell me all about it when you get back. There they are! Oh, shit. Well, shall we? After you, Butch. See you in hell, kid! Yahoo! 
said Lazarevich had a head start on us. You weren't kidding. Well, he's had some help from the local guerrillas. The city's been on the brink of civil war for years. He just needed to throw a little gasoline on the fire. Charming. Yeah, well, all the chaos provides some cover while he destroys the city looking for the right temple. Nate? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. You're not having second thoughts, are you? Oh, me? Never. Good, since I'm so ready to be done with these clowns. You got a map? Uh, yeah. I'll meet you in the old market. Things are pretty quiet over there. Alright, you got it. Uh-oh. You got company. Oh, great. Can you lose them? I think it might be too late for that. 